All right, so first I started out with these cute little sun hats from the Dollar Tree. I have seen this idea on Pinterest and I thought it would be fun to give it a try with my own little spin. So first I just started with the hat and I cut off the tag and I removed um, the little ribbon that was tied around it. It was just hot glued on, so it was pretty easy to rip apart. And then I decided to embroider a little message onto the actual brim of the hat. And I am no embroidery expert, but I did my best. I just started with a pencil and I very lightly sketched out my design, but I just kind of sketched out with a pencil and then I went over it with a Sharpie for actually adding my stitches. Now, if you do not want to do embroidery, I can't blame you, um, but I think like paint, like a paint pen or even just a thick Sharpie would be a good alternative, but I'm really glad I did embroidery because I love the way it turned out. So after lightly sketching out the word hello, I just pulled out an embroidery needle, like a really large needle and some black thread and I used like the full like bundle. Is that the word? I'm not... I'm not an embroidery expert. Like I didn't separate the threads. I used like a full bundle of thread and I just kind of did, you know, over, under, in and out. The one thing I will say is try not to poke your needle through the large gaps in the hat because when you do that, the thread will move around within that gap. You really want to punch through a solid surface to get, um, your stitch kind of where you want it to be. So I just stitched the word hello and then I actually just free handed a little bumblebee because you'll see later the ribbon that I used is honeycomb so I wanted to go with a little bumblebee theme. And then I grabbed these wild uh, wildflowers from Dollar Tree. Um, when I saw them they came in white and yellow so I grabbed the yellow ones and I just kind of snipped them off the base of that stem. I actually snipped them pretty short I didn't want a lot of that stem poking through the back of the hat when it was hanging up like on the wall or on the door. And then I just added a little bit of hot glue to the back of the leaves. So not to the stem, but to the leaves. So what you can do is poke the stem through a hole in the hat on the side and then the hot glue on the leaves will stick to the brim of the hat. And so I just repeated this process and covered, I don't know, a third, somewhere between a third and a half of the hat with flowers and so just repeat this process over and over i used about four bunches maybe three and a half four bunches of flowers pretty easy so i'll speed that up for you and then to finish it off dollar tree had this really cute um honeycomb patterned ribbon so that was where i got my little i guess theme for the adding the bumblebee on the embroidery and using yellow flowers so I just wrapped that around the hat and hot glued it in place a little bit and then tied it in a knot at the bottom of the hat. And then on top of that, I added another bow. So I cut three lengths of the yellow ribbon and two lengths of black and white check ribbon, cut it at a 45 degree angle on all ends, stack it up, and then tie it in the middle with another piece of that yellow ribbon. I find it easiest when you tie that center piece of ribbon to fold it into thirds, um, hot dog or shower style if I were my kid's art teacher. And then you tie it in the back with a knot and then trim the ends and then secure it right over that knot on the base of the hat with some hot glue and then trim the two long tail ends. I kept those pretty long. So just cut them at a nice 45 degree angle and you've got this cute little sun hat um, door hanger wreath alternative. 